Hey guys, Andre here, and in today's video, we are taking a look at the number one YouTuber's earnings net worth, and that is PewDiePie. But in this video, we are going to be taking a look. Thanks, Siri. No problem. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Felix's net worth, his earnings per hour, per month, per year, and what I would do with all of that YouTube money because I'm invested in the stonk market with my Robinhood portfolio and my net worth is obviously nowhere near Felix's. But if I had his net worth and if I had his income, exactly what I would do with that money to invest and to build a better, brighter future for all of us. Let's get into it. Quick backstory about how I got introduced to PewDiePie. My girlfriend, Corey, sitting right over there. Corey! Andre. Meatloaf! <laughs> it's our thing. She showed me a video of PewDiePie. At the time, I didn't know who he was. I heard his name a lot on YouTube. He was the biggest YouTuber. And I was like, okay, I guess I'll give this a shot and watch one of his videos. And then I was watching through it very skeptically. I was like, why do people... What's so special What's about so it? What's so special about it? I don't get it. I guess I'll watch another one. Click. All right. Mm. <laughs> that's funny. Wow, that's good. Mm. Yeah, what's, what, what else do you have? So I kept clicking more and more videos until you know it. I watched a few dozen videos and I was a fan. What I love most about PewDiePie is that he just comes across so like naturally. It's like he doesn't care. And I don't want to say it like he's given up on life. He's <laughs> just like, I don't care about growing my channel. And it's kind of inspiring. That transparency and that honesty, it just, I think, shines through in the way he speaks. And I really like that. And just recently, he released a few videos talking talking about his net worth because that's one of the few things that people really seem to want to know. And nobody really knows the truth 100%. They just kind of guess. We have estimations. So in this video, I'm going to try to figure out and pinpoint exactly how much his net worth is, how much money is coming in. We're going to invest that money in the stonk market. Stonk. Stonk. <laughs> stonk market. Stonk market. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. This is such a stupid meme that I just discovered and it's making me laugh so much. I don't know why. And also the concept of when is it ever enough? Unless you have a goal of how much you want to make. So Felix asks, when is it really enough? And believe it or not, there is an actual scientific and psychological answer. So a bunch of researchers did some research on some topic that they researched and they found out that through their research, the optimal number for your income is actually $75,000 per year, after which point your happiness levels do not increase at all. In fact, the opposite happens. After $75,000 a year, your happiness tends to trend downwards. And that kind of makes sense because if you think about it, more things to worry about, right? Like the old saying, more money, more problems for you. It's true. After $75,000, it's kind of a, a negative return on emotions. But there is a factual way of figuring out how much money you actually need. There's a formula. So I don't know how much Felix actually spends per year, but I know roughly for me, and this is like embarrassingly low, but I'm a very frugal person. So I spend like $20,000 a year. That's how much my life costs, like roughly around there. So if you take whatever you spend a year, and if you wanna calculate it, if you keep track of how much you spend, take that number per year and then multiply it by 25. Take it by 25. So 20,000 for me times 25 equals, Corey, do you know what it equals? I don't, I don't mess with me. <laughs> Corey does not with math. <laughs> so 20,000 times 25 for me is $500,000. That chunk of money is going to pay me $20,000 every year to just exist forever and ever. And that money will never run out. In fact, it's going to grow faster than I can spend it, assuming that I don't, you know, inflate my lifestyle and go buy a Lambo and avocado juice. If you can downsize, <laughs> you could definitely cut your spending at least in half. And I'm talking about downsize like the movie Downside. Right. <laughs> shrink like, yourself. Shrink yourself. I just saw this movie yesterday. Is it me? That took a completely different direction. And oh, then, no, okay, no I'm not going to spoil it. All right. But seriously, it really swerved in a direction I didn't see coming. Oh, if only I had money, all my problems would be solved, which I can say it's not true. So that's actually kind of half true. Casey Neistat did an amazing video about this where he says that money will literally solve all of your problems. Check this out. He makes a really good point. Money won't solve your problems. What a crock of sh this idea that money won't solve problems, it's bullshit. When I was dirt poor, money would have solved every one of my problems. So Casey breaks it down really well by saying that love, happiness, purpose, fulfillment, etc. Those kind of problems, no matter how much money we throw at them, we will not be 
<laughs> no matter how much happiness you have in your life, <laughs> you're never going to be happier. Those are some of the problems that are shared amongst everybody, no matter if you're rich or you're poor. But then on top of these problems, if you're broke, there are also problems like housing and food and transportation and clothing for which throwing money at those problems will literally solve them overnight, instantaneously. So for anyone who's saying that money will not solve all your problems has probably never been broke because at least that half of life can be solved with money like that. What is PewDiePie's net worth? Okay, this one says 20 million. I would say it's definitely more than that. So based on that response, I think it's safe to assume that his net worth is not $20 million at all. Let's be conservative here and double that number. I know that sounds crazy, but I think his net worth is somewhere between 30 to $40 million, and that is being pretty conservative. And the way I'm calculating net worth is if he took everything that he owned, all the money in his bank account, all the houses, all the cars, if he sold and liquidated everything, how much money would he have? So that's where my estimate is between 30 and 40. And that is again, pretty rough conservative estimate. But let's take a look at his YouTube earnings off of AdSense alone for every single month. Remember, this is just AdSense. This does not count for all the sponsorships that he has and all the products that he sells just from AdSense alone. Let's take a look. Estimated monthly earnings. Yeah, seems about right. <laughs> According to Social Blade, he is making anywhere from $75,000 to $1.2 million every single month, which number one, kind of a big number. <laughs> number two, that's a big range, right? From 75,000 to 1.2 million. Kind of crazy. It's like going in for a job interview and they're like, you're gonna be making anywhere from $8 an hour to $40 an hour. Like, great, sign me up. Let's take the average of those two numbers between 1.2 million and 75,000, which let's just say 600,000. Is that fair? And just to be conservative, conservative, we're gonna lop off 10% off of that number, which gives us $540,000. And just to be extra, we're gonna just downsize to 500,000. So that's a cool half a million dollars that he is making on a very conservative front. I actually think it's a little bit more than that. But just to put that into perspective, if you were to make $500,000 every single month, that money that I showed you in my portfolio, which is like 200 grand, which is close-ish to my net worth, he is making more than two and a half times what took me 10 years to save up working in my 20s just, just in one month. That's kind of crazy. I'm not jelly at all. I'm not jealous at all. I, I think he deserves it. He does. <laughs> Give me one more. Ooh, you ate the blueberry. And that's why I'm not jealous, because I can do that. I have no idea what I was saying though. Damn it, Marge. My name is Jeff. My name Jeff. My name is Jeff. Okay, but let's compare investing to YouTube income. Like which one is more lucrative? So how much money would I have to have invested the same way that I'm doing with my Robinhood portfolio? That's generating 4%. So roughly $550 a month. That number is a little bit not accurate because the principle of what I invested isn't actually that number. It's actually closer to $130,000. That's closer to 4%, which is $550 a month. But how big would that number have to be to make the same 500K a month that Felix is making. How much money would you think that would be? Here's the math behind it. Again, this is conservative. Felix is making 500 grand a month. You would multiply it by 12, right? 12 months in a year. That's $6 million a year. Okay, so now you take that $6 million and you divide it by 4%. You move the decimal over two spots, which is 0 0.04, which actually gives you a, a pretty $150 million. That's how much money this has to be to earn me the same 500 grand that Felix is just making every month through AdSense on YouTube, which kind of puts things in perspective to how just lucrative YouTube can be. I'm just fake being sad. I'm not really sad, but I imagine most people who are viewing this are gonna be sad. Are you sad? I'm gonna be sad. Oh! And they're real berries, not floor berries. Oh, they're not dingleberries, are they? <laughs> Imagine that you have a job and how well you are performing in that job is 100% public and 100% comparable to all your peers. Okay, so this is one of my favorite parts that Felix kind of brings up. Have you ever worked at a job and you found out that your coworker was making more than you for doing the same thing? Like how upset were you? I know I was upset when I found out my coworker was making the same amount as I was even though I had more responsibility. So Social Blade is this website for all obsessive YouTubers to check how much they're making, but also there's literally
literally a compare button on that website where you can compare your channel to literally anyone else's and it'll show you all the stats from how much and how fast our growth is how much we make a month like it just shows you everything so I'm just gonna say this I don't know why you would want to do this but if you want to be unhappy in life the quickest way just to compare yourself to literally anyone and that is the quickest way of robbing yourself of happiness everyone is a blood-sucking vampire and they want your money and as soon as they know you have money they are coming for it okay okay so I can't imagine how it must be to be so popular and everyone assuming that you're just literally made out of money if I could give any advice to PewDiePie I would say to diversify and take at least a quarter of your net worth which let's say it's ten million dollars and I know it's not exactly like yeah let me just pull out ten million dollars that's a lot of money but let's say figuratively that Felix could pull out ten million dollars out of his net worth and invest it into something like what I'm doing which are dividend stocks that pays you four percent okay so off of that ten million dollars if he just puts that away at four percent that's gonna be paying him four hundred thousand dollars every year which is thirty three grand a month that's more than what most people are gonna ever need in retirement to live a very very comfortable lifestyle you don't have to touch that money that money is literally never gonna run out and it's gonna outpace inflation at like six to eight percent if you can't do it with ten million dollars then do it with five. You can't do it with five, then do it at least with $1 million. So I made a chart that shows exactly what is gonna happen to that money if you just invested $1 million over the next 10 years. So take a look at this chart, you pause it if you want. And I also made another chart that is $10 million invested over the next 10 years to see exactly how much money that's going to grow to in 10 years. And every month you can see on that chart exactly how much it's gonna pay. And you could see how rapidly that money just keeps increasing. So so that's kind of a lot. There's probably more than you need in retirement. So if you can take out just a fourth of your net worth and do this, you'll be pretty well off. So that, that's, that's what I would do. I'm just saying. Also, for those of you guys curious, I know I promised that I would tell you how much he makes per hour, but he makes roughly, hold on, I have it written down, $3,400 per hour. If he was to work eight hours a day, full 40 hour weekdays. That, that's pretty much how much the equivalent of hourly rate that is. I'll let you guys do the math, but that's about where it sits. Most people don't want to share information about how much money they make, which I find really sad because I love talking about money and not in like a let me compare myself to you way, but in like a let's help each other out, like all of us. Let's be transparent with each other because maybe we will make more informed decisions together about which jobs to apply for, what to do in life, if we kind of know exactly what our compensations are. But if you guys are familiar with Glassdoor, that also does that. I'm in no way, shape, or form sponsored by them, but if you guys wanna know which jobs make what, Glassdoor is your best bet. But again, I'm all for transparency, and I love to ask people like, how much money do you make? What do you do with that money? Do you invest it? Because that's what I wanna encourage people to do. And for example, I'll start first. I'll be transparent with you and say that before I left my job to do YouTube, I was making like no more than 62K a year. And I was tired of it. I was like, you know what, I'm gonna do something else. And here I am making way less right now with YouTube, but it's, it's a lot of fun and I love making these videos so thank you so much for watching smash the like button subscribe and i'll see you guys every monday and beyond i teach magic tricks card tricks and how to invest your money in all sorts of fun ways take care guys it's my favorite noise to make ever every time you know what corey i'm gonna show your b-roll that we before we recorded this video all the b-roll that i got <laughs> no.